Jenny McCarthy and Donnie Wahlberg have attained every couple's ultimate in relationship goals by crafting a loving family home that has stood the test of time for nearly a decade now. However, you may be surprised to know that the famous pair doesn't live in Los Angeles. Their gorgeous home is actually located in Illinois, and in just a few moments, we'll be taking a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jenny McCarthy and Donnie Wahlberg are both successful successful and established celebrities in their own right. And together, well they're a financial powerhouse with a combined net worth of about $50 million. These two first met back in July of 2013 while appearing alongside one another as guests on the former late night Bravo talk show, Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. At the time, Andy discovered Donnie was crushing on Jenny hard and implored him to ask her out, but Donnie was too bashful to make a move. It wasn't until they met again the following year, this time on Jenny's very own VH1 talk show, that they began to date. Within only a few months, they'd announced their engagement on The View, and by the end of August 2014, they were officially married. Since then, they've discovered a way to merge their incredibly hectic and busy Hollywood schedules to establish a solid home life for their blended family. Of course, one of the foundational pieces to accomplish such a task is a tremendous house, and that's exactly what this new couple discovered in St. Charles, Illinois. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, looking at the home of Donnie Wahlberg and Jenny McCarthy. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram if you want to chat. And now let's get into this video. After getting married in the summer of 2014, by the early stages of the following year, Donnie and Jenny stumbled upon a five bedroom home that was absolutely perfect to establish their new family in. This $1.1 million mansion was the very first home these two inspected together. Upon stepping through the front doors, Donnie watched as Jenny's face lit up and he immediately understood that they had found the perfect place. As someone who grew up on the south side of Chicago, this area of Illinois spoke specifically to Jenny, she told People Magazine. It resonated like home, even though the decor wasn't us, I felt an energy telling us this is where we're supposed to be. They would then spend the next four years and a few million dollars more renovating the home to suit their specific tastes. Moving to the outskirts of Chicago meant that both Hollywood stars would have to contend with some pretty wild commutes for their day job. Not only does Jenny have to fly to New York to host her serious XM talk show, The Jenny McCarthy Show, but she's also got to fly to LA every so often to tape her appearances on The Masked Singer. And that's just Jenny. Donnie also has to commute to New York City every week where he films his television series for CBS Blue Bloods. But together, these two have managed to find a way to juggle their hectic schedules with being parents to their children, Jenny's son, Evan, and Donnie's youngest son, Elijah. How do they do it? Well, Jenny literally told People Magazine her weekly schedule. From Friday to Monday, we get to be here with the kids. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we work and stay in New York. We get that one-on-one -on -one time as a couple there, and then we have our family time in St. Charles. I don't know, but that sounds kind of ideal to me. This type of family first attitude is not only reflected in the way these two have settled into a daily routine, but it was also the driving force behind the early design of their home. In fact, for the first two years in their new house, Donnie and Jenny have said that they had basically zero furniture. They came to this decision after their teenage sons were having friends over at all hours of the day, but they eventually realized that they needed to establish a real home and not just let their kids run amok. So the couple turned to renowned Chicago-based designer John Wolfe to create a style that reflected what they like to call their music man meets glam fashion vibe, while still maintaining a home that was both functional and comfortable. Let's say we take a look at a few individual rooms to get a taste of all their hard work. 
Starting off in the family room, the very first piece that the couple brought into their home was this magnificent grand piano. When asked if she would like to buy it, Jenny realized it was time to put Donnie's musical talents to good use and have him serenade her as often as possible. From that starting point, the couple reimagined the rest of the room and now features chic and cozy couches alongside some statement art pieces by French artist Francine Turk. There also happens to be some magnificent beam ceilings up top. But as gorgeous as this room is, it's actually harboring something of a sinister secret. You see, not too long ago, Jenny posted a video to social media that proved her family room is haunted. In the clip, Jenny is seen getting ready for her day, but when she leaves the room for a few seconds, that spectacular piano, well, it decides to somehow play a tune all by itself. Spooky, huh? Wait, what do you mean? That could be the sound of a Google Home rebooting? I don't know. Honestly, I'm already having doubts about this place. Wait a second, where do those gorgeous dark French double doors with D and J silver handles lead to? Well, just like Donnie said, if you were expecting some type of gothic love dungeon, prepare to be disappointed. But what's actually behind these doors is almost as good. Okay, maybe it's not almost as good, but it's still pretty cool. After all, this is one of Jenny's favorite spots in the house, her very own sewing room. In case you didn't put two and two together from earlier, those door handles stand for Donnie and Jenny, something that was apparently John Wolfe's idea to give Jen's special room some much needed glamour. That being said, this space is definitely utilized for practical endeavors and Jen spends hours working away here like a little elf. Next, let's check out the most important room in any family home, the kitchen. Near the entrance to their newly renovated culinary dream space, Donnie and Jenny have hung a large frame print that reads start each day with a grateful heart. It's one of the most important spots in the entire house, according to Donnie, who spends each morning contemplating that quote. The renovations in the kitchen were completed late last August, and the spot now features a large island with high top stools, a massive walk-in pantry that Donnie likes to keep organized himself, a black lacquered kitchen table, a flat screen TV, and even its very own fireplace. Another highlight that the couple was willing to share with their fan base was the inside of Donnie's spectacular home office. Donnie wasn't originally sold on establishing his own spot in their family home, but Jenny insisted that he do so. A pair of black Louis Vuitton doors leads into Donnie's special space, where the entire room is covered by some of the Hollywood star's most prized possessions, including his family pictures, entertainment awards, platinum records, autographed jerseys, and other fan memorabilia. Outside of these unique rooms, Donnie and Jenny's home also features a formal dining room, sitting and sunrooms, and their very own one-of-a-kind Blondie's cocktail-themed bar. Finally, what's a house tour without a look into the extended outdoor space that so many celebrity homes come standard with? And in that regard, Donnie and Jenny are no different. Not only have their renovations added a luxurious, kid-friendly pool with a water slide, waterfall, and grotto, but they've also got a fully functioning, entertaining patio and their very own private nature path that's only a short walk away from a one-hole practice golf green. All in all, the renovations to this home have taken a long time and a lot of resources to complete, but Donnie and Jenny couldn't be happier with how things have turned out. In fact, it's become the dream home they always envisioned it could be. Donnie told People. When we first met, we talked about how we both longed to have a small town life with our kids. We made it a goal for ourselves and said it out loud because we wanted to make it happen. And here we are, together with our kids, and we're grateful for every bit of it. It's always a beautiful thing when a plan comes together, especially for two fantastic people like Donnie and Jenny. Sure, their home might have a ghost haunting the living room, but more importantly, it's a house that's full of love. Now that we've looked at the St. Charles home of Donnie Wahlberg and Jenny McCarthy, what did you guys think? Is it the space you would expect of the couple? I sure think it was. I see how much thought and time they poured into making this the perfect family home and it couldn't be more suitable for them. It just seems so welcoming and a place you would want to be. What was your favorite room in the house or your favorite customization the couple added? I gotta say, I love the haunted family room because let's be real, it's me. And the backyard since it's the ultimate hangout space. Be sure to let me know your likes or dislikes in Donnie and Jenny's homes down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.